Big breaking news on a thrilling and dramatic day. Chelsea have won the WSL for the third season in a row. They came from behind to beat Manchester United 4-2. Arsenal finished second. They won 2-0 against West Ham, but it wasn't enough. Ultimately, one point in it. Arsenal have gone the whole season, only lost one game, but they finished second to an incredible Chelsea side. And Leanne Sanderson was watching this one. Jonathan Morgan was watching the Arsenal game. And we've got Leroy Rossini, who's watching the Arsenal against Leeds game which we'll get to in a moment but first to that big breaking news Chelsea hard to argue deserved champions Leanne yeah definitely I, I thought it you know I always think Chelsea are probably going to always be the ones that win it I always thought that before the season started I think they've done unbelievable but it went down to the final day of the season it's great for the WSL I think the fact that this is the first time you know first time this year TV rights more you know people watching these games and as you can see what it means to Emma Hayes here we're showing the pictures now but she was certainly nervy at times in the first half I think Manchester United caught her off guard a little bit because they came brought the game to them they had a lot to play for up for that third spot was up for grabs for the Champions League but the way that Chelsea played in the second half the substitutions and Sam Kerr there I mean absolutely brilliant when you've got a special player like Sam Kerr in your team anything is possible and her two goals she scored today I mean probably two of the best goals we've seen this season of course, when you said that at times it was nervy, that's because Manchester United had the lead, didn't they? And at, at half time, Arsenal were actually top. Yeah, and it changed, you know, it chopped and changed. The first half of the games were fantastic. And obviously, Arsenal knew they needed to take care of business. But for me, it was never in doubt that Chelsea were going to take care of business in the way that they did because of the type of players they have. I mean, you've got a player like G on the bench, you're able to bring her on, Beth England. Jesse Fleming, who scored the winning goal at the Olympics to make Canada win the gold medal. Like, the strength in depth is just endless, really. And other teams just don't have that luxury. But, like I said, I can't, you know, talk highly enough about Sam Kerr. Won the Football Writers Award this year. Best player. Definitely deserved it. And, you know, we can see Wright in there. She had a fantastic game. Scored a good goal today. And I feel for Man United because they gave everything. They really did in the first half. But they just didn't have enough in the second half. And, uh, Jonathan, I know you were watching the Arsenal game, but Leanne mentioned it earlier. Is that a sign of a champion when they didn't play that well, certainly in the first half, yet still win and win the title? Yeah, definitely. And obviously on the biggest day of the actual league this season today. In These are great scenes, aren't they? It's, it's lovely to see, really, because I think Chelsea do fully deserve it. And Emma Hayes, she's done a fantastic job there. And she's continuing to, to pioneer the women's game with what she's doing. And I think the way that she pulled Chelsea out in that second half... Do not underestimate how much of an impact she would have had at half-time to get them to come out that quick, with that much intensity, to get back, I think it was 35 seconds, and they'd, they'd, they'd equalised, didn't they? So, from that point of view, that is what the, that is a sign of champions, a sign of a great squad, a great manager, and they thoroughly deserve what, they're, what they've received now. Special mention as well I want to give to Drew Spence. She's been at the club for 13 and a half years, and uh, this is her last game today, and obviously you wouldn't want to go out. She's moving on to another club. She's not retiring from what I know, but you wouldn't want to go out a better way than winning the league. Mm, well, absolutely. and We've been giving Sam Kerr a lot of praise, and, and rightly so, uh, Jonathan. But who else has stood out for you this season for Chelsea? Um, for me, Wrighton. Um, I've watched Chelsea a couple of times um, with, with Sky, and obviously from what I've seen when we played against Chelsea earlier on in the season at Leicester, she is a phenomenal player. She, her movement, her, her thought process, her, her football awareness is so instinctive. And she's scored some big goals for Chelsea this year. And even, th even the one to go 3-2 up today, a massive goal. And the movement she made to get in position off Peniel Harder to get that goal was phenomenal. So for me, she's, for me she, was, she would be a close second to Sam Kerr this year. Uh, Leanne, just tell us what this feeling is like. Those players and staff, everyone involved there at Chelsea, just... How do you describe that feeling, that feeling of absolute joy that everything they've worked for all season has culminated in this success? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was fortunate enough to win the league five times and I remember it like it was yesterday. You know, that's why you play football. You play to play in these big games. You play to win. And at the end of the day, they're going to have a nice uh, celebration tonight. And we can see G there. It's her last game for Chelsea as well. Unbelievable servant to the club as well. She was a major difference today. So those feelings of winning, that's why we play football. That's why I used to play and a feeling that you never forget. Yeah, and Jonathan, you, 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 there's Fran Kirby celebrating in there as well. But Jonathan, you've come up against Emma Hayes. What is it about her that is so special? Um, do you know what? I think it's her longevity at Chelsea makes for me that makes her special. She's been there for what a decade now, and she's just she just consistently comes back time and time again. 
Um, she's a student of the game, she's tactically so astute in, but most importantly that she's such a big advocate for the women's game and she puts and she puts everything into it and without Emma Hayes I don't think you would have the WSL where it is today. Did you agree with that Leanne? Yeah absolutely, I mean I was fortunate enough to have Emma as my assistant coach when we won everything at Arsenal when her winning winning mentality is on a different level she always demands more she's a demanding coach and her man management was one thing I thought set her apart from a lot of managers hence the fact they've got all this quality and you know no player's happy to sit on the bench but it's how they react when they come on and no player you know mopes around they get on with it and every player is deserving of their spot because this squad is so big that sometimes you know some of the top players can't even get in the squad so I love Emma Hayes I think she's a fantastic manager and I agree with Jonathan you know she's had to fight hard Two for now to get the things that they've got at Chelsea, training at the training ground, training at times, getting meals, stuff, stuff like that, small things that the men get. Emma Hayes has fought for that for the women's team, and it's brilliant. And, and Jonathan, it's interesting because Leanne said how well she manages the whole squad. She keeps everybody happy. How hard is that? I can tell you it's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, f from my point of view, like keeping every single player happy and buying into the philosophy, the culture and the ethos is very difficult because... When you are not playing, the natural tendency is for players to want to play, which brings out a different side to them. And what she's done is she's made sure that while she probably allows players to be that way, she makes sure that it doesn't affect the greater good and the greater team. And for me, that's a special trait that only the best managers in the, in the world have. I think she's fair as well, because when I played for Emma, she was always, if you didn't play, she'd always explain why. Yeah. You know, you might not like being benched, but you always, you, you like the fact that she's spoken to you. Exactly. Which a lot of managers don't. You know, you wait for the team sheet to go out and then you're, and you're dejected and it's hard to be there for your team because you feel so upset yourself. Whereas Emma is quite honest in her approach. And I think that's why she keeps a lot of players happy at the club. Mm. I think with her approach or being so honest as well, it's actually being fair honest but also giving the constructive reasons to why they're not playing and I think that's what players respond very well to. A lot of managers maybe shy away from giving the whys mm -hmm. and um, Emma's not one of those, that's for, su that's for sure. Yeah, Leroy, we're not uh, ignoring you, by the way. We're well, going to get to you very, very soon. It's all going on there, Tom. It's all going on there, Tom. You've got a lot to say. We'll get to you in just a moment. We just need to mention the Arsenal women's team first because they, they, they did what they needed to do, Jonathan, but ultimately have just fallen short to an excellent side. Yeah, Chelsea fully deserve it. And, no one would have said Arsenal didn't deserve it if they won today either. But I think fundamentally, you'll go back to that Birmingham game, 2-0, such a disastrous day for Arsenal. And that was the day they lost the league. And they should have won that day. Um, and Chelsea kept the consistency all through the season. Um, I think it might have benefited Chelsea over the year because Chelsea were, the, were, being, were hunting Arsenal and Arsenal were being hunted for the majority of the season. But again, I think Chelsea's experience has come through and commiserations to Arsenal. But... I think Chelsea thoroughly deserve it. It's hard to know what to do as well because they lost one game. Yeah. You know, they drew a couple, but what do you even do? I mean, you can strengthen the team, but they have so much quality. I mean, yeah. Iwabuchi, I don't even think she got on today. Precisely. She's one of the best Japanese players. So it's hard to know. It'd be interesting to see what Jonas Cedeval does because it's his first season. I think he's, he's had a really good job yeah. coming in from Joe Montemero, but you lose one game. You know, what do you even say? Mm. You say, OK, we need to do exactly what we did, but they didn't win the league. So... You're going to have to do something. How, how hard is it for those players to put this behind them, though? Because it, it, it must take time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was a nightmare when I lost. I used to, it used to take me a while to get over something. But now they've got a break. You know, they can go away, regroup, get the rest that they need. And obviously, I was doing the first game of the season at the Emirates when Arsenal played Chelsea, and Arsenal won that game. But at the same time, it's these fine margins in football. And one loss can cost you the league against a team that's been relegated. So, but the WSL is flourishing. It's fantastic, you know, the coverage that it's getting and the attendances, and hopefully it can continue to grow yeah. for next season as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just show you the, the final table just to show how tight it was at the top there. And this just final drama, Jonathan, on the final day, just it, it is another, another of one of many great adverts for the WSL and the women's game in general. 100%. I mean... If you compare it to the Premier League at the moment with Man City and Liverpool looking like it's going to the final day and you're having that with the Premier Elite League in the, in the UK for the women's as well going to the final day, it only shows it's a competitive league, it only shows that it's improving. And again, we've watched two games today with such high quality because we can't take anything away from both West Ham and Man U today who made both games a competition to make it difficult for both Chelsea and Arsenal, which made the day so enthralling, didn't it? So for me, it's a great advert. I think... The standard of the women's game is getting better by the day and I think it's only going to get better over the coming years.